Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to the first drill in our last set of drills in our foundational drill series. This is the Reach Track Fire series and I love this set of drills for new pitchers, beginner pitchers, older pitchers who need a refresh in mechanics because this set of drills basically takes you through each important stage of the pitch and allows you to feel and recognize what your body's supposed to look like and feel like in each stage of the pitch. So this video is gonna be talking about reach, track, fire, one. Okay, so for this drill, we're actually gonna start on the rubber, okay? And we're gonna start in a nice, relaxed kind of load position. We're not gonna get into a full aggressive load position just yet because that's gonna get a little bit more focus in the next two reach, track, fire drills. So just a nice, relaxed kind of, you know, springy, bouncy load position. Your pitching coach, parent, or even if you're just by yourself, you're gonna give yourself three commands, okay? So we're in this load position. Our first command for this drill is gonna be reach. And from this load position, you're going to extend your hips forward, the stride leg, left leg for righties, right leg for lefties, is gonna go straight out, and the hands are gonna go straight out, so we're in a reach position. Okay, so reach, okay, and we're gonna balance there until whoever is giving us the commands tells us to move on to the next one. So when I'm in that reach position, a couple of important things to pay attention to. Again, my hips have gone straight forward, my shoulders and hips are square. My knees and toes are square. I'm not doing this or this, okay? This foot isn't turned sideways. Everything is pointed forward and I've gotten tall and stacked. Reach. Okay? So that's command number one. In the low position, reach. Once we've established that we're in a good reach position, we've extended our hips, we've engaged our glutes, everything's going straight to our target, we're going to say track. From here, we are going to push back with our right foot and extend our hips forwards even more. We're going to get a little glide off the rubber and we're gonna freeze in power K position, okay? So let's talk about a good power K position. When we get to power K position, we still wanna be tall and stacked, okay? Hips under shoulders, everything nice and tall. Front foot should land slightly off the power line at that 20 to 30 degree angle. Glove hand nice and relaxed on the power line, okay? Palm up, elbow down with my ball and my arm and my hand directly over the power line. My shoulders have opened all the way. My hips are also open, but a little bit more forward than my shoulders. Because remember, those hips have to come through as I pull my elbow down and deliver. Okay, so reach, track. And when I do that track motion, when I go from the reach to power K, I want a glide with my toe and knee forward, and I want a full front side of the arm circle. A lot of girls are gonna to try to cheat and they're gonna go like this. That creates a lot of issues with opening the body too much. You see what that did to my drive through toe and knee, and it's not training correct arm path or correct top side of the arm circle, okay? Reach, track, okay? Now the only other position, is fire and drive or deliver. So from here, we're gonna pull those elbows down, hips are gonna engage, but I stay nice and tall, my shoulders stay more open, and we're gonna drive through and deliver. And guess what, guys? This drill is full pitching, okay? Just broken down into some of the stages of the pitch. Full pitching is reach track, fire, drive, okay? This drill is a full pitch stopping you in some critical locations so that your body, your pitcher, can feel and understand what the body's supposed to look like in each stage of the pitch. Let's take a look at this drill without stopping. In my nice relaxed load, reach, track, fire. And again, when I go to deliver, very similar to our three swing form fire and our end game deliveries. Elbow pulls down, hips engage, Glove hand comes straight down on the power line, and that hand fires down and out to where our glove hand was when it was in power K. So 
This has been Reach Track Fire 1. Be on the lookout for Reach Track Fire 2 coming soon.